let's dive right in. And what Suzanne and I decided to do is we started going through our history and looking at other people's works. And we were fascinated by how line is interpreted in different paintings, abstract and realistic and traditional uh, figurative drawing and figurative painting. And so we got so interested in this that we decided, hey, let's, let's give us um, ourselves a gift by going through some exercises, you know, of what we want to do for ourselves in terms of investigating what line means to us. I decided to take a theme of using and limiting myself of using only five lines. And I could uh, compose or use those five lines in any way I could. And so I decided to do a, a sheet of studies, you know, just beginning from top left and going down. And I could only stick with five lines. And, and it's kind of actually the same equivalent uh, experience of playing on the piano and just finding chords that sound good or maybe that are dissonant or but at least the, the notes are related to one another so that's what I was investigating with so here's the sheet that I came up with and I started with the top left and I went um, in a series of time chronologically from left to right all the way down to the bottom right and you can just see how I was trying to draw one line and then just introduce a second line that relates to that original line and then keep going the third and the fourth and the fifth and and I just went in through these different variations um, let's see if I can get a little bit closer here and I was thinking about music also at the same time I was trying to get the rhythm of um, some kind of uh, a feeling of Baroque music and so I was just experimenting with different things then I started getting a little bit looser and started larger forms, just investigating. And then I started thinking about the human form and about um, how they could relate to one another. And I started with actually this, this line right here, if you can see my cursor, with the back of this one form. And then from that original um, line, I decided to really say, how can I incorporate a line that really relates to that in a poetic, harmonic way? So that's the one little exercise I did. Here's another variation of the two figures, kind of keeping it open and abstract letting your eye complete uh, some of the forms. Another one here. I might have got, I, I <laughs> ventured away from the five line limit and just started playing a little bit, which obviously happens really naturally when you really let yourself go. And, but I started thinking, okay, let me <laughs> play around with some guitars and some forms that are identifiable. Here's another form with a, kind of a landscape feeling with a uh, figure and more abstract. This time I used some hash marks to try to add a little bit of contrast and stopping or making the flow of a line more interesting or um, stopping the energy and I was experimenting with that. Uh, and then just simple lines in a vertical format. The other uh, quick exercise I did, okay, let me start at the top of the page and let me start drawing a line from the top to the bottom. And so I started with this line right here and I then just continued to draw a second line and, and I think I drew this one here, oops. I drew this one right here with the right side of the figure. And then I drew this one too to complete the figure. But I just wanted to get a flow from top to bottom and see if I could relate uh, the lines in a free flowing manner that way. Same thing here, um, you know, just starting, you know, from the top and seeing if I could create a feeling of rhythm. And I really tried to feel within my body um, these lines <laughs> before I even drew them. I, you know, I uh, was trying to feel the form um, internally, and then when I felt full enough, I decided to really start the line. So you know, let's see what else I can show you. Here's a little bit more fancy composition, kind of, again, I would just say I was just improvising, you know, just trying different forms. And again, I was experimenting with the hash marks. Again, just another top to bottom experiment. This one here with the two forms together. And we'll just go through these and just have a look. 
and then another little variation. So that's what I was doing. Well, um, my exploration of line was for kind of a particular purpose that I use line as a part of my vocabulary in abstract art. And yet I wasn't feeling like I really was close to this part of my vocabulary. And I wanted to get more intimate and explore exactly what did line uh, mean to me and how it spoke to me and how it wanted to come out so that I could be more spontaneous in my paintings um, using line. So I found this great book, Expressive Drawing by Steve uh, Amon, and he had little exercises. And so I thought this might be a great way to explore line and delve into my inner experience of that. So I'm going to just go through my drawings quickly and point out anything that might have resonated with me or what I learned in that process. So here was the, the first one. I mostly worked with pencil. Um, I did try a fountain pen, which you'll see, but there's lots more to explore as far as I'm concerned because each kind of tool makes a different mark. So I did different kinds of graphite pencils uh, for the most part, and then some oil pencils. But anyway, this was just a quick, intuitive markings. So I start with markings, and then I, I started getting a little more involved with markings and just experimenting thick, thin, maybe erasure, just what's possible. And I especially like little, you know, these are almost like graffiti, um, cartoonish kind of uh, feeling. So I just quickly explored, how did that feel in my body? Was that kind of a mark? And I really, really like that stipulation of, it just gets me going um, where I can just dot, 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 dot. I really, really re resonate with that. <laughs> yeah. Then I, t I switched to a pen. The ink kind of blopped on the paper and I even like that. So, you know, I just kind of exploring that intuitive sense of what's natural for me, what do I like? I especially like this rhythm that I came up with this one. And here's one, like I just tried, what can that pen do? And I think the more and more I explore with what can the tool do, the more facile and the more intuitive and spontaneous I can work. So I like that exercise and want to do more of that as a warm up or, or just keep exploring with different kinds of implements. One of the exercises was to, to do different um, foreground, background with the same uh, tool. So I was trying to do that kind of like Bryce Martin. And here was another one where erasure, allowing erasure to be part of the thinking process. And I, I like that. I like history with a line. And it feels much more intimate to the viewer and to myself, where mistakes are okay. And they're not really mistakes. It's just a decision, a change in decision. So I just kind of like that feel of history there. And then it was just like, okay, um, hieroglyphic kind of feel. I wanted to try where that might lead and how I might use that because there's a big history of how our culture and how we've used drawing through the ages. So this had more of that kind of primal feel to me. And this, again, my favorite of all is spontaneity. And so that I combined graphite with ink and I love the textures. And, you know, you could even see the little kind of obsessive quality there and the looseness here and the, they just have different feelings. And I really, I resonate a lot with that. And it's very satisfying to, to do that for me. And most satisfying is just to really go at it, you know, just gouge and, and you know, brute force. <laughs> but in this one, it was pretty just straight, you know, marks. And so then I started doing different colors and different, there's ink and there's graphite and there's charcoal pencil. So 
I could see there's really a richness when I could start trying different things together. And then I did one of the exercises in the expressive drawing book, which was called draw, you draw for a certain period of time, you step back and then you come and you obliterate or veil. And so I was using my eraser for that. And also I used um, acrylic white paint. So I would draw, step back, come in with white paint, get rid of stuff, step back, draw. It was a nice process. I liked that give and take and that conversation with the materials. Here's the final one where I just did it with pure simple line, that same stepping back, drawing, veiling, drawing, obliterate. So I realized I have a lot more. I mean, it was such an eye-opening experience for me to delve into myself, see what felt natural, explore different ways. And it gave me a lot more confidence when I work on a painting just to allow what will come out because I kind of know myself more. It was just a, a great thing to delve and explore. Yeah, I mean, what, what interests me so much to see how we both, I mean, a line is a common word, you know, and we interpreted it so personally and so differently, which I think is very exciting. The uniqueness in yours and mine um, just point out such a great contrast of what's vastly possible and everybody has their own way and you realize there's this kind of we have our signature we have a way of being and that's what we're really looking to is find that way of being and really own it you know and really feel it and get comfortable with it and and see where it can go yeah and i and i find out one of the really advantages because we spoke about this in previous conversations together where we're uh, viewing each other's work we're really influenced by each other. I want to get more of the, the, the you know, kind of the, the, the aggressive or the hard look or just diving in the spontaneous, you know, but also with the figurative. And I think you mentioned that you wanted to kind of, you know, let me see if I can be a little lyrical, but we're, so we really overlap. And it's interesting when um, we're sharing or two individuals just sharing together how we influence and kind of lean toward the other to stretch each other kind of, uh, on the edge in that way yeah yeah i i find that the the um energetic mingling uh of sharing art and seeing really seeing each other's what they're trying to do yeah. uh, to be so exciting and and it just propels my growth and my desire and my excitement yeah. and and i can't tell you how how important a kind of a buddy in um, going through this exploration of ourselves and art is. Yeah. On our website, livingyourwildcreativity.com, we have a forum where you can upload your own images and your own experiences. We would love to, to know how you explore, how you get to know your process and how do you develop your own self as an artist from that deep inner space um, because that's what we're really wanting is to see how our creativity wants to come through us yeah. and it would be so exciting for us to hear about hear from you yeah absolutely okay thank you for being with us at this time and, and until thank later <laughs> Have fun in Santa Fe. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.